Hello again. Hello again. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hello. Yes, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yeah, I was trying to use the other computer, but it didn't work for me. Welcome everyone to our final session. Yes, today is our final session. No more are we classes. Going to eat a cake? Yes, we are. We are going to have a great <laughs> gathering after the class. All of you are invited. It's going to be a virtual gathering. So you're going to eat a virtual cake and some virtual nah. soda. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Hey, congratulations, man. This is another step. I'm a virtual starving. <laughs> You're virtually starving, huh? Um, well, I'm very happy to have you around since this is the last class. Um, I hope we actually share the last um, expositions and the last little part of information that we have to see on the platform. But before we continue, do you have any any comment, any question, anything to say? No, teacher. We are all set, huh? To start the last class, let's get started with the attendance. Uh, let me find out if you are or are not in the house in the final day. Let me start calling Ana Julia Mayora Rodriguez. Terrific. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. I am here, teacher. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Okay, that's Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I'm here, teacher. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. <laughs> Teacher. Already, Miss Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Good evening. I'm here, teacher. Great. Daisy, thank you for joining us. Um, Daisy Magdalena, that's Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Torres. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Present. Emma Jamilev Correa Madrid. Present, teacher. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Present, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Present, teacher. Thank you, Giselle. Josibeth Abigail Miranda Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you much. Iris Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. I am here teacher. Joel Ulysses Minhibor Mendoza. Josue Neftali Cibrian Hernandez. Present teacher. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Manuel Alejandro Varias Arce. I'm here, teacher. Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman Santos. Present teacher. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. Natalie I'm Geraldine here, teacher. Flores Galdames. Okay, Monica. I'm here. Thank you, Natalie. Nelson Rolando Melgar. I am here, teacher. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Patricia Verónica Salazar de Morales. Present, teacher. René David Calderón Peñate. I am here, teacher. Sandra Yanet Vázquez Cortés. Good evening, I'm here. Great. Sara María Molina Cubias. Present, teacher. 
and Saúl Arnulfo Menjibar Crespin. Okay, let's start with our final expositions. Needless to ask you, um, we're gonna call some of your classmates that are still pending with exposition. I think Manuel, uh, you might be ready for your exposition, are you? Yes, I am teacher, but can you give me a few minutes now? Sure, sure. Somebody no, so, ready now. get ready, get ready and let me know, okay? Okay, somebody else is ready for your exposition, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we don't have more people willing to have the exposition. We can go to the class straightforward. Have some chats. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay. No more, no more, no more. Okay, in that case, let's go over the platform. Let me share it now. We were talking about personality traits. We were talking about some adjectives, if you might remember well. Let me know if you can visualize my screen. Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Let's move on. Teacher, can you hear me? Level-headed, moody, punctual. Forgetful, generous, hardworking. Working, hardworking. Hard working. Yes. Hard working. Hard working. Hard working. Hard working. Three volunteers to explain what is hard working. Raise your virtual hands now. Okay, so we'll go ahead. What is hard working? Thank you for your participation as usual. Okay, so I, have, uh, I have problem with my internet, but I'm going to try. Yes. Uh, for me, hard working, I think that is a very difficult uh, homework. Impatient. That we need to do. It's something like very difficult. It's something very difficult. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Saul. Let's go with Josue. What's your opinion? What is hard working? Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, my opinion uh, is uh, uh, hard working when uh, when uh, one people uh, working much. Or uh, every day, and uh, uh, is who is who uh, is who uh, working more? Can I say working more? For example, working much, working more, uh, much. Correct. Yes, correct. Only. Okay, okay. I kind of got you. I kind of got your idea. Joshiveth, go ahead. What is hard working for you? Are you hard working? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Very hard working, huh? Um, uh, for me, hard working is a person who does her or his best to completing activities. I uh, can be in the 
in the work or at home or even in, in the school? Excellent. Excellent, Teacher. yes. Go ahead, you have an opinion? Teacher, um, someone who works hard, very hard with dedication and application. Yes, that it's totally right. I really liked your exposition, Mr. Melgar. Yeah, it's a person who, who works. It's a person who really works very hard. It's a person who does everything to comply with the expectations to get the job done. And this person will not rest until he or she gets the job done, right? Hardworking. Let's go with the next adjective. Hey, by the way, hardworking, is it positive or negative? Negative. Positive. Are you sure it's negative or positive? Negative. Positive. Negative. Positive. Okay, hardworking is a positive adjective. Is a yes. person that yes. works very hard. Yes. For example, yes, teacher. right now, the police officers are hardworking because they are working very hard. Yes. Yes, they work in yes. uh, uh, 84 hours. 24 hours. Yes, 24. That's right. Let's go to the next adjective. Forgetful, generous, <clears throat> hardworking, impatient. Impatient. Repeat. Impatient. Impatient. Negative. Impatient. 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 Is it, is it positive or negative? It's negative. negative. It's negative. negative. Okay, I want to see three hands raised of people who want to explain what is impatient. Raise your virtual hands now, please. Thank you, Josue. Go ahead. Uh, is who uh, uh, can't uh, wait for uh, nothing? Is is a person uh, who will, cannot uh, wait? Can, 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 can or, or can't? Can't, can't, can't wait, nothing. Can okay, it's a person who cannot wait, nothing. Want, want all uh, soon, for example, soon, 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 or fast, <laughs> or fast, only this. Okay, somebody has a different opinion rather than um, his opinion. What is impatient? Are you impatient? How impatient are you? Sometimes. <clears throat> How impatient are you? Uh, uh, 50%. Okay, very well. And the other students? Joel, go ahead, Joel Ulysses. Oh, you already participated? Somebody else? What is impatient? Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Is someone who has no patience. Um, maybe he gets angry easily when somebody tells him something, something bad. Uh, I think that that's all. That's true, that's true. It's someone who gets irritated easily. It's someone who gets mad easily. It is someone who doesn't like to work very hard. It's a little, it's a little similar or, or the opposite, let's say, of hard working. Someone that is impatient. Someone who is always on a rush. You know, he's always on a rush. Always apresurado, right? Always on a rush. Always um, not focus. So, 
impatient. Are you impatient, guys? Yes, I am. Hmm. Okay, from from a scale of one to one to ten, from the scale of one to ten, how impatient are you? Ten, eight, five. I would say um, eight point five. Hmm. That's very impatient. And the other students are shy tonight. Let's go to the next adjective. Level-headed. 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 Headed. Level-headed. Correct. Level-headed. Now, level-headed, is it positive or negative adjective? Negative. Negative. Are you sure? The meaning in Spanish of level headed is equilibrado, racional, juicioso. It's positive. It's a positive <laughs> adjective. So, level headed. Someone has an explanation behind level headed. Let me see your virtual hands raised, please. Nobody has an, an opinion of what level headed is. I told you the meaning in Spanish. For example, teacher, in my ca caso, how do you in say In my case. Caso? In my case, I not drink uh, soda. Is, um, I drink soda, uh, how do you say solo? Only. Only in, uh, in Navidad. Only in Christmas? Yes. Okay, but, but what is level-headed? Uh, Josephus, go ahead. I think it's a person that has everything in control. Correct. It's a person who has everything under control. Thank you. Let's go, Mauricio. I think uh, it's a person, uh, it's a control in the stress. It's a person that controls the stress. Yes, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes, definitely. I agree with both of you. A uh, hell level, a uh, level headed person if is someone who doesn't break you know what i mean it's a person who doesn't stumble it's a person who is always in the right direction this person is not angry this person is not so happy this person is neutral so it's always level headed Okay. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Are you level headed or you're the kind of person who gets angry easily? Yes, level headed. Okay, I hope so. I hope so. Okay, let's go um, to the next adjective. Now, level headed is positive or negative? Positive. 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 100% positive. Next. Moody. Repeat. Moody. 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 Okay, what is, what is, okay, moody, is it positive or negative adjective? Negative. 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 
Okay, Moody Negative. is a person all the opposite way of level-headed. Level-headed is one thing, but Moody is the opposite. Moody yeah. is the opposite. In El Salvador, there are many, there are so many Moody people in the morning, early in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, in especially in special in the traffic. Especially in the traffic, yes. People don't respect. People get angry so freaking easily. Um, moody. Is it positive or negative? Negative. Negative. Three volunteers to explain negative. what moody is. Hands raised. Virtual hands raised. Virtual hands raised. Josue, good participation tonight. Go ahead. Okay, uh, it's who uh, uh, get uh, angry, angry, uh, very easy. Can I say? Very easily. Oh, uh, and yes, easily. And uh, and uh, for example, I know uh, if any. I know uh, someone. It's on, uh, they they are uh, get uh, angry and uh, they 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 say they say I hate I hate this I hate it, uh, traffic I hate uh, light or bank. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. So, person okay. who gets very mad easily, huh? They say that people, when people get older, they become moody. Do you agree with that? Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I think that I'm not moody. Okay, two more students who can explain moody, what moody is. Is a person who doesn't an order. Who doesn't have. Yes, doesn't have an order. Okay, is a person who doesn't have an order. Disorganized, let's say. This is a disorganized person. Okay. Definitely, definitely. This is a person who doesn't have an order, who is disorganized. Thank you, sir. One more concept, one more definition of moody. Come on, come on, come on. Use your English or lose your English. Okay, thank you for your participation. In my opinion, guys, I think that a moody person is someone who is always negative. I think that a moody person is someone that is never happy, right? You will see this person all the time serious. You will see this person rolling his or her eyes. And you will see this person with bad attitude, okay? Thank you so much. Let's go with the next adjective. Punctual. Punctual. Repeat, punctual. 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 Is, it, is it positive or negative? It's positive. 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 It's definitely a positive adjective. Now, can you explain what punctual is? Raise your hands. Okay, Elmer, go ahead. What is punctual for you? It's a person who always, um, what does say, cumplir. How do you say? Repeat, Josue. How uh -huh. do you say? 
how do you say in, in English complete? Comply. Comply. It's a person who always complies the, the time for other person. Okay, thank you so much for your definition. Teacher, Let's go. Yes. I think he is a person who is always on time at work when he meeting with his friends. Uh -huh. At work with his friends. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with um, who's that? Oh, it's complete. Yes, definitely. Thank you for your thoughts. Punctual is positive or negative? Positive. positive. Okay. okay, Brian, go ahead. What is uh, punctual? Uh, it's a person who um, respects every schedule mm -hmm. it's a person who respects all the schedules all the schedule yes because because it's a person who uh, meets someone else on time because because for this person it matters the other people's time you know <laughs> yes and that is something that some people don't have right they don't respect your time they let you wait 10 yes. 20 30 40 minutes that's a shame <clears throat> my best advice don't be impunctual uh-huh go ahead uh, is who is who a person very responsible responsible yes Oh yeah, it's a very responsible person. Yes, he's a kind of person that sets the alarm clock up, you know. And, mm -hmm. Get too early. Get yes. too early for uh, to work, to, to uh, with doctor, with uh, all. All the time is responsible with the time. Can and what do you think, what do you think is better? Do you think it's better, what? Do you think it's better to be on time or to be early? Earlier. Uh, earlier correct in earlier. the american culture in the american culture if you go to a meeting on time then you're a bad worker you're an irresponsible worker but if you get to work or if you get to an appointment earlier let's say 10 or 15 minutes earlier then you are a reliable worker americans like that Okay, next one. Reliable. Reliable. I like this one. Repeat, reliable. 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 Is it, is it positive reliable. or negative? Positive. 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 Yep, yeah, it's a positive adjective. Let me see. Three students with the hands raised willing to explain what reliable is. Josephus, bring it on. Uh, a person who, who always transmit confidence. Yes, definitely. It's a person who always transmits confidence. Thank you, Josephus. Natalie, go ahead. It's a person that is trustworthy. Can you repeat? It's a person that is trustworthy. Yes, it's truth working. You can rely on this person because you know that this person is very punctual, is very responsible, is very professional. So being reliable is being a great worker. Go ahead, Josue. Yes, go ahead. Uh, people who show confidence or security to do things. For example, people who do financial reports. Uh -huh. 
is a person who actually projects a lot of confidence. Yes. And go ahead. It's a person who uh, is a, you can talk uh, with, uh, for example, with a uh, in person, uh, you can talk uh, free, can I say? Yes, because you can trust this so person. You confident. This person is honest and this person is very hardworking. Do you understand, guys? Yes. This person yes. is honest, loyal, and responsible and is very punctual. All of these is reliable, so I really like this adjective. Natalie, you have a word? I already spoke. Oh, put your hand down, please. All right, all right. Hey, good job, good job, guys. And the last one. Strict. Strict. It's strict. Strict. It's strict. 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 Like your boss, right? Strict. Like your boss, like your supervisor, etc. Supervisor. Okay. Coach. Your coach. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. The okay, we're going to listen to four different conversations. Get ready. Get ready. Give me one minute, guys, because it's raining here. Give me one minute. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so we have four conversations and you have three adjectives. You need to choose the correct adjective. You ready? Sure. Let's go yes. for it. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? She's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. What adjective is it? Serious. 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 Everybody agrees? Yes. Okay, now the pronunciation is serious. 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 All right, thank you, Manuel. Okay, thank you, Manuel. I'm gonna leave you at the end, Manuel, no problem. Conversation two. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Which adjective is it? Generous. 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 Generous? Yes. Everybody agrees? Yes. yes. Everybody. 
All right, generous. That's right. Conversation three. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four, a relative. What is it? Moody. 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 Everybody agrees? Yes. No. Yes. Excellent. It's Moody. <laughs> Imagine a Moody teacher. Oh, my God. Okay. Conversation four. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah. He gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. What is it? Bad temper. Bad temper. Bad temper. That it's right. That it's right. Now, it's your turn, guys. How would you describe your personality? Can you do this to me? Um, can you do this for me? I'm sorry. I want you to describe your personality. And I want you to use at least, at least two positive adjectives and two negative adjectives. Who says me? Um, can I try to try? And you know what? This is a call center interview question. Yeah? Uh, okay. Okay, go for it. Hands raised, guys. Go for it. <laughs> Could you repeat again, please? Sure. Describe yourself by uh -huh. using at least two positive adjectives and two negative adjectives. Okay, uh, so um, uh, uh, I am uh, a very happy person. I really enjoy to help and I really enjoy helping people. And so sometimes I am angry about many things. For example, when uh, I have problem uh, with my friend or with my with my family, uh, usually uh, get angry uh, so easy. And I am a punctual person because I really love to I really love uh, to to be on uh, on time every day in May, in every in every case at all, all cases and what else what else okay am, but those uh, are positive right and yes i i told two positive and one because i said uh, <laughs> I'm a, i am angry when i have problem with my family or with my with my friends mm -hmm. you're right okay yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the last one is I am a, a distracted person. Distracted. Yes. yes. Uh, because when I have my cell phone, I can lose my time on the on many uh, platforms. Hmm, I imagine. <laughs> All yes. right, I outstanding. Really to, to, to be on uh, Facebook, on Instagram, on uh, WhatsApp, and so I can lose my time on that. All right, Capich. I appreciate that. Let's go, Josue. What's your opinion? Happy. Okay. Uh, can I say I am uh, I am uh, sometimes for uh, negative? Can I say negative first? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes I am uh, I am uh, forgetful. I forget uh, uh, sometimes my keys, my uh, for example, uh, well, sometimes or and I am uh, impatient sometimes. Impatient. Patient. Impatient. Impatient and patient. When, uh, for example, uh, when I go to the bank, 
Mm -hmm. I must go, I must wait, 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 wait very long time. Sometimes. When you go okay. to El Seguro, uh, right? Yes. No, uh, to Seguro is, for me, is very easy. <laughs> it's very easy to pass soon. Now, I am, uh, ¿cómo le puedo decir que, que tengo este, la presión alta? Soy hipertenso. Hypertension. When I go to the doctor, yes, hypertension. When I when I go to the doctor, I paso rápido. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, digamos, I, I have a priority. You are a priority. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Uh, and positive, can I say a uh, creative and uh, creative. Creative mm -hmm. and uh, really Reliable, 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 reliable. Yes, watch that pronunciation, okay? Reliable. And one suggestion, one suggestion. When you describe, guys, your personality, eh, maybe they could ask you, describe your personality giving two positive adjectives or or three positive adjectives, three negative adjectives. You have to be very intelligent on choosing the right words. When for interview, example, teacher. Yes, for example, in an interview, it's not good for you to say negative. Like, like if you say, I am negative, that's not good. You should change, you should change that negative by another adjective, maybe realistic, realistic, right? Uh, you can change it so you don't have or you don't project a bad impression, okay? Don't I have uh, no more students who wants to describe um, your uh, um, adjectives, positive and negative? Me, teacher. Please go ahead, Raphael. Byron. Byron, Raphael. Okay. I am a happy person and I am hardworking and sometimes I am forgetful in some things and, and sometimes I am angry with my family when we have problems and anything. Well, don't be angry, okay? Don't be angry with your family. I'm <laughs> just kidding. And avoid <laughs> problems. Avoid problems. Great job. Guys, we're going to move with an exposition. We have one exposition to finish or a interaction. Let me see. Let me stop sharing here. And that's going to be Mr. Manuel. Are you ready, Manuel, for your exposition, sir? I think so, teacher. Is it is it only you, or are you are you working with somebody else? No, no, I'm I'm working just just me. Okay, by yourself. Let's get started. Let's go. Hi everyone. Um, let me put this. I'm gonna tell you about making requests with modern verbs. First, I'm gonna show you how do we use modal verbs in the structure in the affirmative way. We ha we have subject plus model plus infinity. An example is she should stay in the negative form. We have subject plus model plus infinity. She shouldn't stay in the interrogative way. We have dual H plus 
model plus subject plus infinity. I'm gonna tell you about six model verbs: should, must, would, will, can, and may. The first, should. Should is used to give advice and to make recommendation. It is also used to express obligation and expectation. It's that is a frame of one of my favorite movie. And the caption says, should we try to contact them? The next, the next one is must. Must is a model verb. It is followed by the base form of a verb. You use must to indicate, <clears throat> sorry, that you think it's very important or necessary for something to happen. That's a uh, use of that. That's uh, lyrics of It Must Be Love, the song. First, I get cold and hot, think I'm on fire, but I'm not. Oh, what a pain I've got it. Then we have wood. Wood is a modal verb most commonly used to create conditional verb forms. <clears throat> That's the lyrics of one of my favorite songs. I used to roll the dice, feel the fear in my enemy's eyes, listen as the crowd would sing. Now the king is dead, don't let the king. And that is will. Will is a modal verb used with my promise. How do you pronounce that, teacher? Which one? Promises. Uh, promises. And promises. Promises. Promises or voluntary actions to to that make place in the future. It can also be used to make predictions about the future. I'm afraid it is not that will, but that will can can help us that's a caption and says that make me an optimist you ruin my life then we have can it's used to express ability opportunity or case to grant permission to show possibility or impossibility that will help us don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something, not even me, all right? The last one is may, commonly used to express possibility. It can also be used to give or cast permission, although usage is becoming less, more, less common. That's a title of a, from a movie. I help you. And I've got some examples made by me. Should, where should I park my car? Donde debo parcar mi coche? Must, you must pay attention to the teacher. Este joya. Uh, would, would you wash my dishes? Today is my day to wash the dishes, so. Me lavaría los platos? In Espanol, will will you lend me your house for a party? Me prestas tu casa para una fiesta? Can 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 you send me the photos we took? Me puedes pasar las fotos que tomamos? And the last one, may I finish the presentation, teacher? Puedo terminar la presentación, teacher? <laughs> of course, and you may. Thank you all of you for your attention. Very creative from your side. Uh, thank you so much for this great work, Manuel. Thank you. Let's see, congrats on exceeding the time required and expectations. 
Who were you supposed to work with? Do you remember? I don't. You were supposed to work with who? No, no, I, I don't remember. Don't remember, okay. You have a great tone of voice, good pronunciation. Of course, it can be even better. It can be even better as long as you keep connected with the language. Um, very informative, very upbeat, very interesting information. And um, I just need to tell you to continue giving your best and trying to improve your English because you are in the right path to become a bilingual very soon, okay? Already, let's go to the last part. Let me see the last part here. It should be this one. I'm going to share once again. Let's check. Once again, my screen. Let me know. Can you see it now? Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Let's go with yes. classes with because. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Okay, let's analyze that out. Uh, it says that the clause with because is the word that introduces a cause or a reason. When you use because like these guys, you are sounding very advanced. For instance, I'd make a good journalist because I am good at writing, because I am good at writing. Mm, I could be a teacher because I am very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I am very impatient, reason, cause or reason. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Do you have any questions so far? I, I have could a never... question, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, can I use Owen too? Say that again. Uh, can I use Owen to, Owen too instead because? Mm. Nope. It's different. You, you could use do too. Do too. Mm -hmm. You could use do ah. too. Uh -huh, to, to sound even better. Okay. And, and when I when can I use Owen too? Owen too is similar, um, but it's, it doesn't sound as strong as because. You know, because is the classic word that is useful to provide explanations to give a clear idea okay now uh, that one the one you said is less common it's less common oh. but you could you could try you could try to use it more commonly we prefer you to use um because if you will you can you use will. you can use do too i suggest you to do use do too Okay, thank you so much, teacher. Absolutely, let me call the attendance real quick, guys. We're almost done. Give me one sec here. Okay, um, let me go over the attendance real quick. 
Ana Julia Mayora Rodríguez. Present. Byron Rafael Abelar Aquino. Present teacher. Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I'm here teacher. Awesome. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Good evening. Elizabeth. Hello. Buenas noches. Good evening. Thank you. Elmer Hello. Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. Elvia Sofía Pérez Castaneda. Emma Jamilev, Corea Madrid. Present teacher. Okay, Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Present teacher. Josh Beth Abigail Miranda Chavez. Here teacher. Is Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Present teacher. Joel Eulises Menjiver Mendoza. Present teacher. Josué Neftali Cibrian Hernandez. Present teacher. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Manuel Alejandro Varias Arce. Marbeli Jocelyn Aleman de Santos. Present teacher. All right, Manuel. Okay, Marbeli, Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames. I'm here. Nelson Rolando Melgar. I am here, teacher. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Patricia Verónica Salazar de Morales. Present teacher. René David Calderón Peñate. I'm here, teacher. Sandra Genev Vasquez Cortez. I'm here. Sarah Maria Molina Cubies. Saul Arnulfo Mengibar Crespin. Present teacher. Okay, Sarah. Here. Are you there, Saul? I'm here. Yeah, I am here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, guys. Hey, I want to give you my apologies because in these last three days, my camera um, was not working properly. Don't really know why. Uh, but my apologies. Also, I want to tell you thank you for being with me in this module. I have really had a lot of fun with you. And um, at the same time, I would like to encourage you not to stop in this program, right? To move beyond, continue ahead, and get to the graduation, get to the advanced level. Go ahead, Josué. Do you have any words? Eh, sí, teacher, pero en español se quiere decir este, agradecerle por la gran paciencia que, me ha, que nos ha tenido y pues gracias por aportar su sabiduría con su metodología de, 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 de enseñanza para nosotros. Quería agradecerle nomás eso y pues decirle que ha sido un buen profesor y muchas gracias. Teacher. I appreciate ¿Eh? that. Go ahead, Iris. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, thank you for you teach me. I like that you always speak in English. Mm -hmm. I was difficult uh, for me understand all, mm -hmm. but it's good for me listening always English. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Persistency is the key to success. It is continue to be persistent. Continue to be persistent. And my best advice, no matter what happens, no matter what they tell you, no matter how big is the problem, guys, you need to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Okay, students? Okay, okay. teacher. Okay. Nice to meet you. Okay. Best of success. Keep your energy. Thank you, teacher. Nice to meet you. It was a pleasure. Good night. Thanks. Good night. Bye. 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 I might see you. I might see you in advance level. I might see you again in advance. Woohoo! Perhaps. Perhaps. See you on the next level. Congratulations for your graduation, guys. See you soon. Thank see you, you soon. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye, teacher.